Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to file for child custody in PA. To initiate a child custody case in Pennsylvania, several steps and considerations are crucial. Hash determining jurisdiction. The custody case must be filed in the county where the child has resided for the past six months, which is considered the child's home state. Standing and eligibility. Only those with legal standing can file for custody. This includes biological parents, individuals who have acted in loco parentis, and under certain conditions, grandparents. Preparing the necessary forms. If there is no existing custody order, you must complete a complaint for custody. If an order exists, you need to file a petition for modification of a custody order. Additional forms may include a confidential information form, certificate of compliance, criminal record abuse history verification form, and a notice to defend. Filing the forms. These documents must be filed with the clerk of the court in the appropriate county. Some counties allow electronic filing while others require in-person or mail submissions. Filing fees. There are non-refundable filing fees associated with custody actions, which vary by county. For example, in Philadelphia County, the filing fee is $107.13 and in Chester County, it is $212.25 for a complaint for custody. Fee waivers. If you cannot afford the filing fee, you can file a petition to proceed in forma pauperis to request a waiver. This requires an affidavit of income and expenses, serving the other parent. After filing, you must serve the other parent with the custody complaint or petition. In many counties, the court will handle this step by mailing the documents to the defendant. Emergency custody. In cases where the child is in immediate danger, you can file for emergency custody. This typically involves allegations of abuse, neglect, or other unsafe conditions. Hashtag preparation for trial. Gather evidence that supports your case, focusing on what is in the best interest of the child. This may include information about the child's living situation, parental involvement, and any history of abuse or neglect. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.